Okay, so day two, recon, scoping it out. So I found three points of entry. I know that the two security guards go on two shift rotations, uh, smoke breaks of every 15 to 20 minutes. They go to that little shack over there. So if I was to come in through the bottom part right there, pretty sure I can make it through. So I've been observing them. Now, they definitely know my gear. They definitely know my bike. So we're gonna have to come in uh, in a different, you know, outfit or whatnot. Also, uh, as you can see behind me, so six o'clock at my five there, uh, this is a main busy trail. So if you look all across the lake here, it's just thousands of people walking, right? Nah, thousands, hundreds of people, okay? And uh, I got into it with this old guy. There's my motorcycle right there. So this old guy, you know, I had my Batman helmet on sitting right here, right? He's here. And he starts screaming at me in Vietnamese. And I'm just like, I must be Vietnamese. But, you know, in these situations, be the bigger man. So uh, in Vietnamese culture, it is... Uh, in America, we would handle it a different way. You know, you, if somebody gets in your face, starts screaming, well, you know, start throwing hands. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? But here in Vietnam, especially since I'm a guest, I need to be respectful. Like, this is, you know, his country. So, you know, yes, I'm a stranger, I'm a guest, even though he's being a jerk, you know, it is what it is. So play the, you know, play it smart. So I just said, I don't speak Vietnamese, you know, pointed towards my bomb me say you know bomb me and his wife was laughing but he was you know trying to show off and blah 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 and i'm thinking oh man you better keep walking you know one of these days you're gonna walk up to the <laughs> the wrong person to fat crap and yeah yeah that might fly you know somewhere around here but other places in the world you don't get in people's faces but somebody taught me in vietnamese culture that you were respected that you gained face reputation that you were seen as even if Hey, he was probably older than me, even though I'm gray, even though people think I'm younger than I am when I shave. Uh, he was older, so I had to give him the robe. By Vietnamese, you know, customs, if you're older, you get the respect, you know, so, um, yeah, walked away, you know, he turned around, gave, you know, walked away, maybe, he was sure to walk away 10, 10 feet to stare around, give me one last look, you know, flex him. It's all right, I get it. Try to show off for your wife, man, it's cool. But point being though is, so now we know that around this time, so I'm actually here at a different time of the day, and there's so many people walking. So we got people on that bridge there, and they just walk in a circle, run in a circle here. So this would be the wrong time to, to, um, to, make, to make my mission to go into that building so lessons learned smoke breaks every 30 minutes they go to your 11 o'clock there's a shack right there all right they rotate every 15 minute intervals smoke break every 30 minutes point of entry i found two so we go to the bottom another one is to the front entrance which would be risky but doable second of all my motorcycle my gear is noticeable so we'd have to change up our gear once we get inside there though there's no accounting for movement so i've been sitting here for a couple hours now looking inside the building so if you look inside that building there right you see all those sheets so there could be squatters there could be well there's not construction i know that but there could be anything and everything in there right and who knows the integrity of the floor itself so I'm not too concerned about that I cut you know I'm pretty agile but squatters things like that so we go in we got one two three four five five floors to get up to the point is to get up on the roof get up on the roof and get a good camera shot now also I don't want to break no you know walls and get myself you know in trouble so I gotta, you know, do this in a way that is not, you know, against the rules. But just going inside a building, I don't think would be against the rules because I've looked and there's not a single sign that I can see that, that, that says, do not enter. 
So either it's you know just a, a given that you know hey this thing is gonna is not safe to walk into or B no one just ever just does it because they're just bored of it. But for me, it's, you know for three years I've stared at this thing wondering what would it be like? What would it be like? It's an adventure. It's an op, you know. So that is the sit rep. The good thing about it, though, is there's multiple ways to get angles, multiple, uh, or excuse me, multiple ways to get. Uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You can see into it through different, you know, different locations. So there's different benches all across this thing. <laughs> so these people at my uh, at my nine, right? 